You are watching Ballistic Coffee Boy. Hey guys, so I got some stuff here uh, I want to unbox for you, and it's been piling up, and so I figured why not do an episode of Unboxed? It's about time for one, so I've got some stuff here I'm going to unbox. Um, can't wait to get started. Everything from uh, the Atari 400 Mini to uh, some new Tiger Electronics products to some vintage games to a game for a console I don't yet own and I've never heard of and uh, some other cool stuff. Card games, um, got some other video games. So come on back. Let's dig right in. Welcome to Unboxed. We'll see you in a minute. Welcome back, you guys. BCB here, your host. So I'm going to go ahead and get to the stuff here. I've got uh, a few months worth of unboxings. Uh, well, not a few months. <laughs> I should say a few weeks worth. Uh, so let's go ahead and show those clips, and then I'll get to the more current stuff at the end. Here we go. Hey there, guys. So I've been dying to open this huge box that came. Um, I do know what it is. But just about to go to bed here, but I wanted to get this off my plate because it's a big box in my kitchen and I don't want it sitting there too long. Otherwise, it'll be like two months before I do it. So, but I'm definitely excited. This thing is wrapped up by a human being, packaged unnecessarily with a lot of tape. Jesus. Okay, almost there. Dang it. Ooh, man. I feel like I'm in that first episode of Breaking Bad, trying to dispose of that body in the bathtub. <laughs> Deep grief. Okay. So let's go ahead and see. We got a lot of packing here. And I am so excited about this, you guys. I got my first Tandy color computer. This is a TRS-80 color computer, um, the first version. And the keyboard here, just love it. Um, so. I'm so excited to talk about this. Um, on the back, we have Breaking Seal Voyager Service Warranty Radio Shack Service Center, um, serial number 040348. And um, I'm so excited about this. <coughs> Excuse me. Ooh. Um, so excited about this. Um, I, For those of you that don't know, I used to live in Fort Worth near Tandy Center, um, near the headquarters where it used to be, and um, Radio Shack was located there with Tandy, um, and they were they had a mall, and I used to work as a paralegal assistant assistant um, about 20 years ago, and I used to run underneath the street to the courthouse with documents, pick up clients and everything, or pick up um, people in the jury or whatever, like uh, witnesses. For this drug company in Park Davis. So anyway, so um, also when I was, so I spent a lot of time at the Worthington Hotel then and the Tanny Center. And also in the mid nineties, um, a friend of mine had a friend that worked there. So we spent some time there. There was, there was like a skating rink there and everything and shops. And it was a two or three story mall. At one point it had a lot of stores in it, but not so much anymore. There's always something happening at Tandy Center Mall. 
from shopping and dining to arts and entertainment. Turn your attention to the center of attention, Tandy Center Mall, downtown. When you're looking for some fun, then don't think twice. Gather up your friends and come to Tandy Center Ice. Open to the public seven days a week. Pro shop and lessons, if that's what you seek. After our parties and broom ball will entice. Come to Tandy Center and put yourself on ice. So, um, looking at this thing a little more close, there's a little crack over here. It's not too big, though. Um, but I'm just happy to have one of these. I did order a game which when it comes will fit in that port right here i think um hopefully <laughs> so <laughs> geez the thing doesn't want to shut anyway um so my first color computer i'm so excited didn't come with anything just the computer but as i said i did order some stuff and i do have some more packages over here so let's go ahead and open up this one. I'm not sure um, what order these came in over the past few days. As of this recording, it's uh, February 11th on Sunday, like Saturday late night. Okay, what is this? Oh, yes. It's the video now that a -Bit Bubba ordered. If you saw the episode of Unbox, whenever he unboxed the Star Wars um, video now CDs. So he ordered this. It came with the carrying case, which is cool. This is from Tiger Electronics. And whenever you unzip it, here is the video now. Basically, these are little video players that play mo movies on the screen there. And uh, they're for kids, basically. And uh, this one actually did come with, uh, came with Nick Jr., I think, the Fairly Odd Parents, a couple of episodes there. So pretty neat. And you just put them in there and then they play. And this doesn't have anything else with it, no adapter, no nothing, just this, which is kind of what I thought it was. So very cool. So glad to get that. And got a couple more here. Let's go ahead and. Well, this actually might be the next to last one. So, man, the stuff they put this in is. This bag is almost unpenetrable. I guess I'm glad they send it in stuff you can't open, but geez. Awesome! So, I did get this the other day. Um, a television libs for the DS. Um, over 60 classic games. I've been dying to get this over the years. I saw it for really cheap on eBay. Like I think it was like $25, which is unheard of because this goes for hundreds sometimes. So Intellivision lives on with Intellivision lives. Play over 60 classic games, including favorites such as Astro Smash, Crown of Kings, and Thin Ice. Save your high scores and enter your initials. Challenge friends at Frog Bog, Thunder Castle, or Triple Action. Play unreleased games, including Hard Hat, Deep Pockets. So this has tons of games on it. There's a list on the back, Motocross, Sea Battle, Sub Hunt, Tower of Doom, Body Slam, World Championship Baseball, Space Hawk, Space Spartans, Star Strike, Blowout, Brickout, Buzz Bombers, all kinds of stuff, Snafu. So really cool, and this came with the manual and the game. I wish games came with manuals still. I just love the manuals. Um, so yeah, excited to get this. This is by Virtual Play Games. This is kind of a rarity, kind of, on the DS. Glad to have it because I love me some television games. So the last thing I'm going to show you is these things I got at Noble Gaming recently. I got Piznik. Um, I didn't have these NES games. I'm a big puzzler, so I'm excited to play Piznik. I've heard a little bit about it. it says Simple Enough for Complex Minds by Tato. I love that. I can't wait to play Piznik. I also got this one just because it was gold. It's The Fantastic Adventures of Dizzy by Chimerica and Codemasters. Really cool. Um, there's no name on the spine, but I, I thought, well, it's a kind of a rare cart. I didn't have it, so I got it. Anyway, you guys, let me know what you think. If you liked my uh, Coco uh, computer down here, which is too heavy to lift back up right now, um, or my Video Now player, or Intellivision Lives, or the NES games, 
um, let me know down below. Thank you so much for watching. Okay, you guys, I know it's super dark in here right now, but it's pretty late. <clears throat> but I want to do unbox this real quick because I need an episode I'm filming right now. <laughs> and I know what it is. So I got this off of eBay and, um, you know, for cheaper than I'd seen it before. And uh, it's pretty interesting. It is a hard-to-find game for my Tiger R-Zone. And... Yes, another one. And uh, this one I saw come up really quickly and I, I, I got it immediately because I'd seen this for like 70 or 80 bucks, which is crazy. And guys, I got this for like 20 bucks. And I can't believe it because it's worth, it actually, it actually is worth a lot. So, uh, and this comes to us from uh, Coon Rapids, Minnesota. And we have all this little stuff like this in here and inside of this is the game and that game would be uh, you probably can't see it from the baggie it's so dark in here I'm sorry about that it is Road Rash 3 for the Tiger um, R Zone and this was a pretty hard game to find I got it for really cheap thankfully uh, so I'm gonna try this in my super screen over here and uh, show you some footage. Let's take a look. Hey guys, it's Ape and Bubba here. I knew you probably didn't think you'd see me this episode, but you know what? It's for a good reason. I'm going out of town, down to Mexicana with my friend uh, Jessica, and we're going to rent us a little cabana somewhere and have a little fun. So uh, just wanted to say I'll be back for the next episode, I hope. Don't let Ballistic show you any of my cool stuff I got. Um, I got some toys and cars. I'm going to show you that probably in the future. But, um, man, it's been long. It's been a long day and a few weeks. Uh, just been working a lot and been going out on dates when I can. And been trying to keep Ballistic at bay. He's been a little crazy waiting for his, you know, Atari 400 Mini and all that crap. So I've been kind of staying out of his hair. But I just wanted to say I appreciate you guys so much for showing up for me in this episode and waiting for me and all that. Um, I, I, I know you're here to see me, you know. The other stuff don't really count. But you know what? Um, I, I've i been doing a little bit of thrifting lately. Um, I'm going to show you that the toy special coming up in the future. None of this tiger business that Ballistic's doing. I'm going to show you some real man toys, like cars, things like that, that I got in my collection. So stay tuned for that, all right? Uh, so me and Jessica are uh, about to get going. Um, and um, in fact, she's waiting for me right over here. Yeah, I see you. Yep, I know you're ready to go. I am too, Jessica. Anyway, guys, whew. These women, let me tell you, they are something else. Hey, don't be throwing cigarettes at me and stuff. Those are to be smoked, not thrown. Anyway, you guys, uh, there is one thing, however, I'm going to show you while I'm here because we are currently waiting for the bus to pull around. I had it right over here. Let's see, where the hell did I put it? Dag, nab it anytime. Oh, here it is. Got this right here. So, um, Blissick's going to hate me for showing you this. But he ordered this. It's the only thing I got over here to show you. And we're about to head out. But he ordered this uh, from the Atari Club. He got an Atari Club patch. Pretty neat. So, um, I think if you sent off, it was like $5 or something. They send you this patch. Here's information about how to iron it on. But pretty neat. So, um, I am not uh, as big as Atari freak as he is but i like them when they, when they put out these patches you know you can you can cover up stuff that's torn or broken or you know patch holes and stuff which is 
what I should have done a long time ago in my life. But anyway, uh, really cool patch, you guys. Let me just know what you think down below about this. And if you got some Atari patches in your collection, this is a brand new one. All right. So, um, looks like our car is here, guys. I'm going to get going. Jessica's having a little hissy fit over here. Um, but we're going to head out to the airport. Well, screw that. We're actually driving down. And then we're going to get on a jet blue or whatever and just hop over. But anyway, so we'll see you guys later. Have a good one. Peace out from your favorite 8-Bit Bubba. I'm going to be on the beach in no time. We'll see you later. Bye, guys. BCB here. So I've got some cool stuff I want to unbox for you guys. Some of this is going to go on the next episode of Unbox, but I thought I'd put it here since some of this I think is Atari related. I know at least one of them is. So uh, let's go ahead and see. I'm not sure which one it is though. Oh, let's go ahead and just open these. So these came recently and um, this one's from Monroe, Washington from Rondo Products. And they sold some stuff on eBay, of course. Let's take a look. Oh, dust. Oh, I hate when they use these mailers that have the... Okay, wow, never mind. So this is Good Boy Galaxy and Witch and Wiz for the Evercade. That crap everywhere. Uh, two games included. This is neat. Uh, two grand Evercade adventures await. Take to the stars with 32-bit exploration platformer Good Boy Galaxy and tax your brain with the tricky 8-bit puzzles of Witch and Wiz. I can't freaking wait. So I'm going to be going over this on the channel soon. This is the latest Evercade card, of course, to come out. I got it like a couple of weeks late because I ordered it late. My fault, right? So um, I know I got some other stuff. Oh, here it is. Okay, so I think this is it, actually. Uh, this came, and I think this is the Atari-related item I wanted to show you on this episode. Um, so, again, I'll air this and unbox it again, probably. Sometimes I'll air clips twice if it pertains to something else. So, that's what I'll do with this. So, this comes all the way from uh, Titusville, Florida, from Classic Game Source. Pretty cool. So, let's see what this is. And okay, it's in a box. Okay, let's see. All right, here it is. This is what I thought it was. So I talked about this recently on my Atari 2600 plus, I'm sorry, my Atari 2600 five minute game review series, Expresso. And it is Space Tunnel. And this just got to me. I just ordered it when I was making that episode, actually. I was making an episode about this random game I found on my Retron called Space Tunnel by Puzzy, which was also Ape at Corp. And um, I played it, and I really liked it. I think I gave it uh, triple espresso in that one, which is like three out of four. So I saw this on eBay while I was making the episode, recording the audio for it after I played it. And I saw this on eBay when I was talking about it in the deep dive episode for 20 bucks. And it's a PAL version of this game, but really cool. So I can't read it. It's like, an, I think it's um, in French or German. I can't tell. Maybe German. Uh, but really cool. So I think this comes from Canada, actually, because I think this company, uh, 8 -Bit Corp, was known as Puzzy in Canada. So we have a, this is my first PAL cart in my collection. Now this does work on the Retron of the 2600 plus. I think I'm going to put it back here and see if it plays actually. So really neat. So this is a cool game and I did go over this in my episode um, of Espresso, but I want to show you that the manual is in here too. Now this is actually what I pulled up online, the PDF of to read space tunnel and uh, Really cool. So this is in English, and this is really bad English, by the way. I remember reading it. Whoa, it's not in English here. Oh, it is. Never mind. It says, um, how weird. Uh, it talks about preparing, follow the manufacturer's instruction to hook up your video game system, press reset, piloting, piloting your spacecraft by moving the joysticks in four direction. Left, right, up, down, aiming and firing. Fire your energy bombs by pressing red button. The direction of your bomb is at the same as that of your air spacecraft. If your craft is hit by the missiles or strikes to the UFOs or sidewalls, you would lose the spacecraft and the action stops. So this isn't even the whole manual, and it's, it's, really, it's written really badly and translated badly in English. 
uh, online, they have the whole thing. I think this is missing a page or something. That's kind of odd. So they didn't say that when I bought this, but I'm not going to complain. I mean, it was like 20 bucks. So I think we're actually missing a page of the manual or something. Because it doesn't start out like what I read online. But anyway, that's Space Tunnel. Really cool game. I really enjoy it. So I also got some stuff here for, um, I actually, for my uh, Tandy, my uh, my Coco. And uh, this is probably one of those too. So let me, whoops. So this is like a little clip for a box in itself, right? I'll air it again. So I got this game because I wanted to try out some on the on the Coco. I still haven't even messed around with it. Um, so full disclosure on that, after I unboxed it, I found out the um, that the power switch was broken on it and it did not work. So I emailed the seller. He gave me a bunch of flack. I gave him a bad rating. He said, okay, you're stuck with it, whatever. I'm going to see if my friend Rick can look at it and see if it can get that power switch back working and see if it can get it working. It seems to be in good order. So I got this game, Typing Tutor. Now this is the first Tandy game um, that I've ever bought uh, for the Coco, right? And here we have Typing Tutor, catalog number 263152, Radio Shack TRS-80. Um, so excited to play Typing Tutor. I love these little games, these little typing games um, and things. So I've got another one here. I think this is another Tandy game. And uh, let's go ahead and open this up. Is that noise annoying you guys? <laughs> I could turn it off. Sorry. Let me see. I do have a remote on here somewhere. Of course, it's nowhere to be found. Jeez. Here it is. Yeah, it's getting a little annoying. I'm sorry. <laughs> let's turn that off. A little too much, Brian. So um, let's go ahead and get this open. I think this is another Tandy game. So yeah, I have been saving this stuff for Unboxed, but I wanted to show you the Space Tunnel game this episode. Uh, so I'm not sure how much of this clip I'm going to show on BCB number 129, but um, maybe all of it. I don't know. So this is another game I got for the Tandy, um, for the Coco, called a computer, and it is... Mega Bug. Now I have no idea what this is. I've seen gameplay, I think, on YouTube. It was really cheap, so I got uh, Mega Bug. It looks like a little Pac Man clone or something. So cool, I got those. And I've got one more cool thing to unbox. Let me go get it real quick. Whoop. Okay, I got this massive box in. Now, I do know what this is. I got this on eBay. This comes to us from uh, Ringwood, New Jersey. I won't say the person's name because it's a person, not a company. Um, let's go ahead. I, of course, have nothing up here to open this up with. I just don't come prepared, y'all. So let's get this flathead screwdriver. Works for me. Okay, and let's get this open. I have a little official eBay. Uh, tape on it which is cool always nice to see I feel like it's gonna be a seller that really cares about their stuff you know and their their customers which is good to see so honestly I've had some bad dealings over the years of course I've been on eBay for like 20 years now not the same name back in the day I totally screwed up my account I was a seller in the late 90s and the early thousands I bet eBay forever Okay, cool. So we've got different parts of this um, and packages. Let's go ahead and open up the first package and see what this is. I have no idea, guys. Awesome. So it looks like we have a little dock or something here. And it says Hewlett Packard. How neat. I have no idea, right? Of course I do. I'm just not telling you right now. But something goes in this dock that I can't wait to show you. It's a very vintage techie. How oh, interesting how they wrap this. It's in pieces. Let's see what this is. I think this is going to be the main piece here. Feels like it anyway, you know what I mean? 
And I am excited to show you. I got the HP 620 LX. Now this is actually, open this up, a little personal computer, kind of like the Atari portfolio we've talked about on my channel. So this is a really cool portable computer. It's got Windows 90, it's got Windows CE on it, and it is in color. Uh, the batteries and stuff don't work. This is from like 97, I think, or something. Uh, so it's pretty old. It's like 25 years old. But it's got a little chintzy keyboard. It's got programs and stuff you can add to it. So this fits in the dock I have. This actually has a stylus with it too over here. Um, and I'll show you that later. But let's see what's in here. There's more to come. Okay, what a mess. Got stuff everywhere. So let's see, what is this? Okay, cool. So we have, it looks like the power adapter, which is awesome. I know those are hard to come by. And I also have, uh, oh, another part of the power adapter. Maybe that all fits together, it does. So I get the power adapter as well, so really cool. So this will charge it. It does run off batteries as well, I think um, C batteries, or the AC adapter. Um, so can't wait to get this up and running. I don't think it runs right now, but I can give it a shot. Um, it's gonna need to be charged and everything. Uh, let's see where the, here's the on off button right here. Yeah, hit the on off button. It's gonna have to be charged. Let's go ahead and see if I can charge it just to show you a little bit of it. Because why wouldn't I? Let's see. Okay, let's get this thing. Man, this is a long power cord. That's kind of cool though, is you can plug it in in a faraway place. I like long power cords. I hate when they're too short. Blaze, Blaze Entertainment, take note. Uh, so let's get this thing plugged in. This thing is a knots. Let's see. Don knots anyone? Okay, there we go. Let's get this plugged in and I, I'll show you. I can't wait to show you. Okay, what do I want to unplug? I always have this little dilemma and I hate it. So I think I'm gonna unplug my Christmas lights. I don't think you care about that, right? I mean, too much. It adds a little genese, what do they call? It adds a little genese quoi, is that what they say? I don't even know. That's so old school now, it doesn't even make any sense. Um, so let's get this. Of course, it's got one of those weird little power adapters like that. So let's plug this in, um, I think right there. It's already turning on, Hewlett Packard, cool. So again, this has Windows CE on it, and it's cool, you can type in it, there's like contacts, there's scheduler, things like that. It's like a little mini version of Windows, it runs Windows CE, which was out in the uh, mid to late 90s, I think, late 90s. Um, so yeah. Awesome. So it's walking you through setup. So that's really cool. Uh, setup will now help you do the following. Calibrate your touch screen, set the correct time and date, and set owner name and address information. Follow the instructions at the bottom of the screen. Okay, let's hit enter. Press enter to tap the screen or continue. Uh, for accuracy when using a stylus, you must calibrate the screen so that it lines up with the display. Use a light but firm touch. Don't let the stylus skid on the screen. Don't rest your hand on the screen. So you push this button over here. And the stylus pops out right here. I love that. So this is uh, it's plasticky feeling for sure, but it's cool stylus. So let's go ahead. Okay, carefully press and briefly hold the stylus in the center of the target. Okay, repeat as the target moves around the screen. So let's do that. And I know you can't see this, but pretty cool. So we're gonna keep putting it in the center of the target. That's gonna calibrate the stylus, I guess. Um, Microsoft Surface, take note, right? Uh, new calibration settings have been measured. Press the Enter key to accept the new settings. Press the Escape key to keep the old settings. Let's press Enter. So uh, moves on through setup. Little light turn green down there, that's cool. So it's got the world clock. As you can see, it's very Windows 95 looking. We got the blue title bars and little map. I mean, it's so cool. So I got this thing for like 40 bucks on eBay with, with the dock. So 
I'm, I want to set this up real quick though because I do want to put it on the charger. Just to show, so it did come with a little charger. Let's see. Um, I will get Albu uh, I've got my city, Albuquerque, New Mexico. I'm going to put that here. It says Friday, January 1st, 1999. That's not right. So let's change that. Um, so it starts out January 1st, 1999. Uh-oh, before the Y2K bug. So let's go ahead and go to... Uh, you can scroll through to the years and everything. Looks like you got to do it the old school way and go all the way through 2023. Now... I don't think I'm going to have this over here forever charging, so I might have to redo this again. I think the backup battery is worn out of it, to be honest. Okay, it's not. Hold on a minute. It's going backwards now to 96. Let's try to get this. Okay, stopped. May, June. Okay, now it's going right. So I was going the wrong way, guys. I'm here. I'm in the, like 97 right now. So let's go ahead and go back up to current times, please. Okay, it's still selecting the dates. Now it's up at uh, January 2000, okay? So 23 years ago, kind of get it back up to current times. So I don't think there's any other way to do this. That's kind of annoying. So, oh wait, maybe there is. I saw a little bar next to the date. Let's see if I can get that. Yeah, oh, I can, okay. 2024, okay. Um, enter. So it says September 2024. Let me put it on February 2024, which is what it is right now. And it is uh, the 29th now because I think it's midnight at least. Um, what time is it, Brian? Right now it is 12. Oh, God, I can't. What happened on my watch? Right now it's 12.36 a.m. So your backup battery is low or very low or missing, it's telling me. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, X out that. And let's go back to the date. So what time is it? Did I say, I said 12, let's see, 12. Okay, uh, yeah, 12, uh, 36, what did it say? 12, 36, okay, 36. Oh, this thing's very literal, let's see. 12, 30, 36 a.m., okay, cool, next. Okay, now it's saving it to memory, of course. And let's go ahead and try to get out of this. Uh, owner properties. Oh, it's like setting it up for the first time. It wants to know my name and everything. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that just so I can say that I set it up, right? Oh, let's see, the caps lock you have to hold down to use. Okay, let's get my name in there. So this is pretty cool so far. I'm kind of liking it. I wanna put my address here, of course. Let's get that in there. 1847 Pluto Road, just kidding. So hold down the, sh the caps lock and sure, uh, okay. Got it, got it, okay. And uh, let's see, okay. Let's know your phone number and everything, wow. Pretty high tech. Uh, Oh yeah, it is very, you have to like go to the next box to put stuff in. Uh, okay, let's go home, put my home number get over there, down there, okay. Okay, next. So it's saving that. Look at the user guide if you need help. Okay, cool. Finished. So we're here at the screen now. It's got the current time. I've got my icons here. I've got my handheld PC, my documents, Microsoft Pocket PowerPoint, Internet Explorer, Recycle Bin, Microsoft Pocket Access, Inbox, H Viewer, Microsoft Voice Recorder, Calendar, Contacts, HP Quick Pad, Tasks, Microsoft Pocket Word, and Microsoft Pocket Excel. Um, so pretty neat. So um, if any of you have this too, let me know what you think. Pretty cool. I'm going to actually put the stylus back and put this on its charger. And I think this goes just like that. It does. And the stylus, you can actually, ooh, and it did beep, so it is charging it in there. And then the stylus, you can actually put, let me take that out because I wanna show you. You could take it out of here and then you put it back here in this little thing. 
Isn't that interesting? Looks like a router, right? <laughs> anyway, here's your Hewlett Packard uh, Pocket PC. I freaking love this thing. The HP 620LX. Great purchase for 50 bucks or 40 something. I think it's a good deal with everything I got. So let me know down below. And thank you so much for watching, you guys. Come on back to my show and uh, be a good person. Get your Java and go play some Atari. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Hey guys, BCB here. Got something cool in the mail today from Atari. Let's go ahead and rip this open. I think I know what this is. It is my, yes, it's my members only Atari jacket. And this is the Atari Club edition. And I am stoked about this. Let me rip this baby open. I'll feature this a little more on my channel on Unboxed in the near future. But here is my, I think I got the triple x just in case i wash it so very cool let me know if you guys got yours i freaking love it thank you so much atari um i'm looking forward to the atari 100 400 uh mini uh coming out this weekend too so stay tuned to bcb for all the latest on that and unboxing of that too love my jacket atari smells brand new it is love it thank you so much love it love it love it wonder if you guys got yours let me know down below Welcome back, you guys. BCB here, your host. So, yeah, as I was saying, uh, the 400 Mini arrived today. I measure this recording, so very stoked about that. Let's go ahead and take the wraps off this thing. Um, can't wait to plug it in. I know so many people have already done so, but I had an issue with Amazon. They said they were here on Friday, and they weren't. And they said there was a delivery exception, delivery failure. And it was definitely a failure. They didn't even come. So today I camped out by the door and I actually had something else delivered. And I was like, hey, I have another box, right? And he's like, oh yeah, that's password protected. And then he brought it to me. And I was just thinking, had I not said anything, would I have not have gotten it today? I don't know. Anyway, kind of screwy. That's what happens when you have 15 year olds doing your Amazon deliveries. So uh, but yeah, excited to open this guys. Um, as I said, I got these two things. I got the extra joystick, the CX stick and the 400 mini. So uh, let's look at this real quick. So take my glasses off. It says 25 classic Atari 8-bit games included. Uh, directional stick with self-straightening axes. Uh, uh, da -da -da. Let's see, the CX stick. Authentically updated Atari CX40 joystick. So cool, it says also load your own games via USB. Excited about that. And on the back we have Star Raiders 2, Berserk, Lee, Minor 2049er, Mule, and Millipede. Definitely cool. So excited to open this. Compatible with thousands of Atari 400, 800, XL, XE, and, fi and uh, 5200 games. Game files must be legally obtained. And here's all the systems that it replicates. So we have the, I believe that's the 800 XL, the 5200. We have the Atari 400 right here. 400 800 we have the XEGS and we have the XE computer right there so very cool love it love it love it so um, it says of course uh, all the gobbledygook on the back of HDMI um, manufacturer was Rich Co in Hong Kong um, and it says uh, features uh, Emulates Atari 400, 800, XLXE, and 5200. Save and resume games. Rewind up to 30 seconds of gameplay. Multiple scaling options and CRT filter. Play games within one of 12 attractive frames. Cool. Via USB, connect your own devices, play your own games, and update your, the firmware. Very nice. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get this thing open. I am stoked. So this is going to devalue by so much when I open it, but... I'm just kidding. I don't even care. I just want to play this thing. That's what it's all about. You know, playing the consoles you get, not keeping them in the box or anything. And Except for that one R zone I have. It was real expensive, so I ordered another one to play uh, the XPG. Okay. 
So let's get this thing open. So when you open it, you have a cool little Atari logo right here, loving it. And the system, just like so, looks so nice. This is so funny because I have a real sized Atari 400 here behind me as well. Here it is. I just got it recently. Watch my video on it. I mistakenly used the wrong power cord and think it's broken and it's not. So, but yeah, from that to this, just crazy. Um, so there's a little protective cover over this. I'm going to take it off. And here we go. Awesome. And here it is, guys. It's about as big as a Big Mac used to be. So uh, cool. So the front does not open, it looks like. Well, I don't know. It might or it might not. No, I don't think it does. And we have a little faux membrane keyboard. We have the uh, four USB uh, slots down here, which take the place of the controller port, right? It looks so authentic and cool. I love it. It looks just like it. So my serial number, um, I'm almost number 4,000. Uh, 2024 Atari Interactive Retro Games Limited. So excited to get this, guys. So excited. And let's go ahead and look in here. We have the uh, new CX stick in here. Uh, and it has a USB connection. And uh, there's little menu, there's little buttons right here, maybe menu buttons or something. And yeah, very cool. So I'm excited about this, guys. Let's go ahead and look down here. I do see a manual or something. And it says the Atari, sorry, the 400 Mini Quick Start Guide. Love it. And when we open this, it talks about unpacking the 400 Mini, setting up the 400 Mini, pretty uh, basic stuff. The CX Stick. The CX Stick's many functions can be performed with the CX Stick. The CX Stick has a directional stick, a fire button, a shoulder button, a four-way button ring labeled top, and two function buttons, menu and home. Wow, it's got several buttons. Um, probably eight. <laughs> wow, pretty neat. So um, so there's a games carousel where you uh, press down on the joystick to view a help screen showing which buttons to press in the currently selected game. Uh, really cool. So it looks like we see this in French here or something. Yeah, that's it. So pretty neat. I wanted to say, too, on the back of this, I have some damage here. I don't know if that's from the printer or what, but, yeah, we have a little bit of damage there. Interesting. And right here, we have something else in here. Let's take a look at this and see what is in here. It looks like the power cable. Awesome. And something else. It looks like... Okay, so we have a power cable, and we have a USB-C to USB. So we're going to need these. Very cool, guys. So that is pretty much what's in the box there. And I'm going to go ahead and also... Uh, so we got the unit here and the CX stick and the instruction guide. I'll put that over here. And, of course, the power cable and the... Um, uh, what is it? Oh, another cable for it. So, And this is an extra CX stick right here. So uh, very cool. So I'm excited to dig into this, guys. Uh, and that says it's an eight-button USB stick, authentically updated Atari CX40 joystick, directional stick with self-straightening axis and light left, sorry, light, I can't talk, left-right-handed modes. <laughs> oh, it says it's also compatible with the 400 Mini, the A500 Mini, the C64 Mini, and the C64. Very cool. Awesome, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this in, and I'm going to show you on the screen what I see. Come along with me. We'll see you in a minute.
So guess what happened, guys? We're sitting here waiting for our freaking bus to come take us to the airport, and it didn't show up. So me and Jessica are sitting here just doing nothing. And I was like, well, well, we might as well play video games or have sex or whatever. I mean, we got a little hour or two here, so we did that. Now we're still waiting for the bus. I mean, you know, we could have done this anyway. I mean, how silly, right? Get all this crap ready and the freaking bus don't come. Anyway, so we're taking off hopefully here in a minute. Hope you're enjoying these uh, these uh, boring little ballistic unboxings. I'll be back later, guys. Hopefully in Tijuana or whatever. Awesome, guys. So I want to go ahead and start unboxing uh, some more recent stuff that I've gotten this past week as of this recording. This is the end of March. So let's go ahead and start looking here. So I went to Noble Gaming one day. I even have the bag for it still. Sometimes I go in between my two jobs and I'll get something or my lunch break. And So I saw these three games. I put them on hold and got them. I had to check and make sure I didn't have a couple of these in my collection already. So uh, one of them is Utopia uh, for the Intellivision. I didn't have this yet. Uh, it says, if you were the ruler of your very own country, how good a ruler would you be? Find out with the strategy game that captures the realism and problems of governing. Your goal is the happiness and well-being of your people. You make sure there is sufficient food for all. You take care of housing, schools, hospitals, defense, and the economy. Sounds simple, that's what they all say. One or two can play, either competitively or cooperatively. Uh, goes on and on. Weigh the need to earn money against the need to provide for your people. Improvements include crops, fishing boats, factories, housing projects, schools, hospitals, forts, and PT boats. I won't go on and on. Talks about pirates, hurricanes, tropical storms, rebels. Uh, so kind of a little sim game. Pretty cool. Um, and this came, this was like $9.99, a noble gaming. And it came CIB with the inserts and the manual and the game. They just don't make games like they used to with manuals in them, you know. Um, I also got this intelligent television. Sorry, intelligent television. Uh, thing. So uh, here is the manual for this game. Pretty cool. So definitely excited to play this. It's nice that I got the manual in this too. Um, so that's Utopia. And I also found this one, uh, PGA Golf. This was $7.99. This was taped when I got it. So I don't know if it was CIB. I just got it because I didn't have it. I put it on hold and... Um, I went home to just make sure I didn't have it. So opening up now, cool. And it is CIB complete, so really cool. That's PGA Golf. And I've got the manual here for it. And the overlays, very nice. The overlays would go over the Intellivision controller, obviously. So at that time, Atari was doing this, Intellivision was doing this, everyone was doing it, so. And I also saw this thing. Uh, now, let me just make sure let me just turn off Discord because it's beeping in my ear. Uh, so I got TV Arcade 4 Baseball. Now I saw this. I had to get it. It was only $5.99. So this is for the RCA Studio 2 Home TV uh, Programmer. And um, I did see this console on eBay. It was quite expensive. But I saw this game and just thought I would get it since it seems unusual. Um, so this is Baseball. It came with the Studio 2 manual in here. Pretty neat. Uh, so, yeah. So, if any of you know about this console, let me know. Um, I didn't know about it until I picked this up. So, pretty neat. It seems kind of like a Sears Video Arcade of some type. I like their version of it. So, many of you saw, of course, uh, I unboxed my 400 Mini on my show. Um, I'll show that in this episode here as well. Um, because it's it was such a cool unboxing. I had so much fun. And I've got to share the love. So uh, let's get to that stuff last. Um, so I've got some boxes to actually unbox. So I saw this. This was my first DS game. I actually lost the... Um, I have the game, but I lost the box for it somehow. So Plarium for Nintendo DS. And from what I remember, this was the first game out on the on the DS back in the day. Four nine nine, not bad. Uh, came out in 2004. Um, I definitely remember getting this and having it, and it was kind of the hot game at the time when it came out, so kind of a puzzle game, but cool, really cool. Uh, 
prepare for brain-busting puzzles and fast twitch action as you draw lines to flip back and white tiles and make sorry to flip black and white tiles and make patterns and puzzles disappear. I can't even read today. Well, it's Easter as it's recording. That's probably what's going on. I just when holidays happen, my brain starts to go. So, um I think I showed this before, the Xbox Atari anthology. I still have it over here from last time. And let me see. Whoops. Let me just get these so I can show you. So um, many of you know I got a Tandy Coco color computer. I showed that on um, Java Junction, I believe, and here in Unboxed. I also got a couple of games, Typing Tutor and Megabug. Now, I have not worked on this console. Currently, it does not work, but it's on my to-do list. But I thought I would get a couple of those games. You know what I mean? And I got another game, too. Uh, I got Good Boy Galaxy and Witch and Wiz for the Evercade. So, pretty neat. This has got two full games on it. Take to the Stars with 32-bit exploration platformer Good Boy, uh, Good Boy Galaxy. And Tax Your Brain with this tricky 8-bit puzzles of Witch and Wiz. So, I did not have this. I'm kind of behind on the Evercade carts. I need to get the latest one that came out, the Indie Heroes. But, um... I still collect for it, and I still love it. So let me know what you guys think. I also saw this thing at the thrift store. It's Star Trek Cacophony, starring George Takei. <laughs> it is a George Captain Sulu adventure. This was like a uh, dollar forty nine, and I saw this, and it, it just said it came with one cassette. So I thought I'd get it from nineteen ninety four, and it runs about seventy minutes. Pretty cool. Star Trek fan here. So just making sure I got everything I think I have. Oh, this other thing too. I saw this at a thrift store and for $3.99 and I grabbed it. It's a Sony Discman. This is one of the original models. And um, uh, I didn't have this one growing up, but I had the ones after it, the more portable ones. But this is definitely one that you set somewhere with speakers or have in your car. Um, but pretty cool. Thought I would get that. All right, so I got some boxes to unbox here, is over here, three of them. So before that, though, I was at Walmart a couple of days ago, or yesterday, and I was looking in the clearance section, and I saw this. It's actually from Hasbro Gaming, which is what Tiger Electronics became, and it's Yahtzee Electronic. And uh, this was only $7, and works pretty good. I know it makes noise. Did you hear that? <laughs> anyway, it's Yahtzee. Um, this is how we roll. And of course, this is based on probably like some of the Tiger handhelds back in the day. Uh, this looks like a brand new one, which is nice. Um, ages 8 and up, one player. So yeah, excited to get this. It had been 1097, so I saved like $4 on it. So pretty neat. Look in the clearance section if you can. I also saw this in the clearance section. It's Dose. I'm a huge Uno fan, so this is a take on Uno. This was only $3.50. I've heard of this, I just didn't have it yet. So, just like Uno, you have to match numbers, and there's extra play if you can match colors too. Um, use two cards that add up to a match. Match numbers and colors to earn a color match bonus. When you're down to two cards, don't forget to yell dose and match card by numbers. Uh, so, interesting. Um, there are special cards and a wild dose card. Um, so pretty interesting. Uno. I'm sorry, dose. <laughs> um, so I've got some boxes over here to unbox. Let's go ahead and start doing this. Now, I've been dying to unbox these. They've been on my table. I just had a screwdriver over here. I don't know where it went. Oh, here it is. Let's see, things just disappear on me. Okay. That happens as we get older. So, um, <clears throat> let's get this. Now, I, I know what some of these are, at least a couple of them. I'm not sure what one of them is, though, anymore, because it's been so long. So, I think got, I got this off of uh, eBay recently. Let's go ahead and get this open. All right. Okay, and it is wrapped very weirdly. Oh, I know what this is. So I saw this on eBay, and it was only like five bucks. Of course, had to get it. 
it is a Tiger Duel Masters uh, data pad. So pretty interesting. So this thing, um, I think you click that to open it. Yes. So when you open this, um, here it is. So there's information in here. You can put data in here. Um, there, it's also kind of a card game. I'm trying to see how you turn this thing on. There's no batteries in it. But it's also a card game. And so like a, a what do you call it? like a little fantasy card game and it's also got you can put contacts in it there's a calendar stuff like that so pretty interesting so uh i i love the blue plastic on the front pretty neat so another part of my tiger collection there and let's go ahead and get over here open this up now i do know what one of these is and it's going to be pretty big so excited so let me know if you guys saw my uh atari 400 mini uh first impressions video that was so fun to make i expect i i had hoped to make it friday but my uh forwarder mini didn't come till friday night like late at night so i actually got into that saturday morning and put the video out saturday night so that was a quick turnaround i don't normally do things like that but i wanted to get that out there since it's still a hot item you know and i cover atari on my channel exclusively so i feel like i had to get it out there right away you know so, oh yeah, this comes to us from Port St. Lucie, Florida. Right, hopefully there's no white powder in here. All right, so let's go ahead and get this open. All right. Uh, this thing is bulging. Come on now. Uh, they pack these things so hard. Oh, God, just destroyed the box so I can't use it again. Thanks, people. <laughs> I like to reuse these boxes, but when they do it like this, you can't. It's just covered in tape. All right. Damn. All right. Okay, and we got ourselves got ourselves another Tiger Head Start computer. I showed you one last, uh, I think it was last episode, or was it Java Junction? I think I showed that on. But I have another one that I showed before. On the channel right here, the Tiger WebStar computer. Yeah, I showed this on uh, Java Junction. That's when I unboxed this. Or actually, I got it at a thrift store. So, But pretty cool. So this is what that one looks like. And of course, it does work. And... Uh, Goodbye. Cool. And um, so this one here, that one had no mouse with it. This one here, I think, came out before that one. 1997, Tiger Electronics. And um, you press this here. This opens up. A lot more tacky and kid-like. But this one's got the mouse with it. And I thought that was kind of cool. So this one's got the mouse still attached to it, which is nice. And it works. And uh, the guy said this worked. So uh, let's go ahead and turn it on. Oh, I think he took the batteries out. Okay. I'll have to do that. But, uh, yeah, pretty cool. So this is another Tiger Head Start computer. Definitely one for a more younger kid. But I think it's interesting. There's little things on this. Uh, it says letter ID, letter match, first and last letter is word match. What's missing? Spelling, ABC order, scrambled word, definitions, rhyme time, homonyms, category game, fill in the blank, sentence jumble, what am I, and the list goes on and on. Uh, so pretty interesting. So, uh, yeah, this was like pre-internet thing. Uh, they, people would give their kids, um, to keep them off the internet. Probably they were curious, but kind of a cool part of the collection. Let me know what you guys think. Maybe I'll play that on some point on the channel. And this guy also gave me a cool American flag and a really nice business card with this info on it. Very cool. I love when sellers go out of their way to do that. <clears throat> Okay, so the last thing here I've got for you, I do know what this is, and 
I am excited about it. I'm not sure if I'm going to take it out of the package though because when I saw this I just had to have it. Definitely a cool part of my collection. So yes, another tiger object. I've been buying these things because a lot of them are cheap to buy and it's kind of cool. Um, I have this crazy fascination with tiger electronics stuff. So all the arrows really. So I got my and I, I got this because of the research I did on my tiger episode. Uh, the uh, Tiger Strikes Back episode. I got a boogie ball from Tiger Electronics. This thing is still in the package. Twist and turn boogie ball to chase and catch the flashing lights. Um, so definitely excited about this. Let's see if you can still try it. Nope. <laughs> the funky, fun, interactive light and sound game. Uh, psychedelic red, green or yellow lights. Follow my fab commands. Swing with one to six players. Groove to six hip light games. So this thing has got light games on it. You hold it. There's a Pac-Man chasey type of games on it. But definitely excited to get my first boogie ball. Never had this because it came out when I was in my mid-twenties. So, of course I wouldn't have it. Anyway, you guys, let me know what you think about the stuff I've got. I've got a mess in the floor to clean up. But everything from the boogie ball to the, uh, you know, the DS games, the Intellivision games, back here, the, uh, what is it, web, the Head Start computer. Uh, anyway, let me know what you guys think about all this stuff. And uh, also comment down below, like, and subscribe. Thanks for watching Unboxed, Ape at Bubba. Uh, sends his regards. He's currently on vacation down south in Mexico somewhere. I don't know where. I don't care. But he wanted me to tell you uh, to go screw yourself. So anyway, thanks so much for watching Unboxed. We'll see you guys later for the next one. Be a good person. Get your Java. Go watch my Atari 400 first impressions video and go play some Atari. We'll see you guys later. Bye now. Sitting here waiting. Got my bags ready. Jessica's over here having a little time of the month in the corner, freaking out, biting her nails and stuff, reading magazines. I'm, you know, I'm some someone's got to have their head on straight. So here I am calling and calling, and no one showed up. So, so we're just gonna stay here, I guess. All that work for nothing. So you know what? What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna start sorting out my stuff um, instead of sulk around like I normally do and disappear in a bottle of Jack. Well, I'm going to do that anyway, but instead of do that, I'm going to go ahead and get my toys and stuff ready for the next unboxing episode. going to feature some of my stuff, none of this crazy little Atari business or Tiger stuff, but I'm going to show you some cool toys next time that I got in my collection that I had when I was a kid and some new stuff I acquired too, all right? So uh, definitely excited about that. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, real quick before we go, I did have a piece of fan mail I wanted to read real quick you can call it that. Let's see where to go. Oh, but so much crap back here. We got bills and all kinds of crazy stuff. My goodness. Let's get this. Here it is. So I got this right here. And this came to me from looks like what does that say? District Attorney. Oh my lord. Oh, it looks like my fourth wife is suing me. Anyway, what is she going to get? I mean, she can't take my body. That's the best part of me. I ain't got no money. She ain't getting nothing. Anyway, you can go screw it. Screw it, lady. Anyway, whole world's falling apart over here. So, thanks for watching Unboxed, you guys. Hope you enjoy these boring little ballistic unboxings. Next time, we're going to have some fun up in here. I'm going to get me a little drinky, and I'm going to sit in a little corner, and I'm going to start insulting members of society. Just, just, just indiscriminately making fun of people like I always do. So make sure to come on back for that. We'll talk about an ex or two and a cheating uh, ex-wife or whatever and bastard kids maybe. Hope you guys have had a good time. Um, today it's Easter when I'm recording this. We don't do nothing for Easter here, but watch, watch uh, reality shows and eat chicken nachos and play video games uh, with their underwear on. That's about all we do. I well, hope you guys are having a good one, though. We got freaking everything going off here. Guess it's time to go. Freaking Jessica calling me again. Anyway, you guys, have a good one. We'll see you later. Hey, bit Bubby here. Peace out. Didn't do nothing I wouldn't do. Not without protection. See you later. Bye.
You are watching Ballistic Coffee Boy. You are, you are watching, watching Ballistic, Ballistic Coffee, Coffee Boy. Boy.